Jason Sadowski's and Charles Cope's torture and kidnapping trial is on a break for the weekend. As ABC 10 senior reporter Mike Coey explains, the ex-wife of one of the defendants spent much of Friday on the witness stand. Sarah Petro frequently visited her ex-husband, Jason Sadowski, at his mixed martial arts studio where the alleged incident took place. In fact, police found a loaded Smith & Wesson handgun belonging to Petro in the building on Sadowski's bed. Do you have it registered? I don't. And how is it that your gun ended up under the pillow of Jason Sadowski's bed? I had brought the gun back and forth with me uh, because there was a gentleman upstairs that I didn't care for, so if I was at the gym alone, I wanted to make sure I had something to protect myself with. There have been no allegations that the gun was used against the two alleged victims or that there were threats to use it. She testified here at the Marquette County Courthouse that when she and Sadowski went into the basement together early that morning, she saw the two women and that they were not restrained at that time. She testified that Sadowski asked her if she recognized the two alleged victims and she told him no. Did you know at the time why he was asking that? I, I did not. When he asked you if you knew the women, had he prefaced that by telling you no, he asked me that. I viewed the women, and when I came back, he just had said he had missing money. The emergency room physician that the alleged victim saw on the morning of the incident testified Friday afternoon. But would there be something to expect, like a voice change or a swallowing problem, if there was a complaint of strangulation? Those would be signs of. In those are potential signs of injury following strangulation. Yes. And as I understand your report, there was no indication of that. Both women reported numerous injuries and told Dr. Lyle Vanderscaff they had been bound to a post with duct tape. That's what I want to get at. So the ligature markings on the wrist could be from an object being wrapped around the wrist. Right. The case will resume at 8.15 Monday morning. In Marquette, Mike Hoey, ABC 10 and CW5 News Now.